Hello and welcome to Health Education and Ethnic Studies. Uh, my name is Puya Hajarian and I'm going to be the health teacher at Limbrook High School this first semester. And my counterpart, Usiel Meraz Serna, he's going to be teaching Ethnic Studies during second semester. So um, I'll start with some intros. So just a little about me, I actually attended Limburg High School as a ninth grader, uh, and then I transferred to Monta Vista because my family moved. Uh, so I graduated from our district, graduated from Monta Vista. Uh, I currently teach the health class at Limburg and biology classes at Monta Vista. I'm also the health lead for our district. Uh, I went to UC Santa Cruz, um, and I now live in that area. This is my 16th year as a biology teacher, as a science teacher. Uh, I spent three years as a new teacher mentor, uh, and so this is my second year back in the classroom. Uh, and just a few things about me, I live in the Santa Cruz Mountains, um, so I have a beautiful drive to work. I love fruits and vegetables. I have uh, not a big backyard, but I have 23 fruit trees. Uh, different varieties and I have a vegetable garden that I love to tend to and I have two dogs uh, here Chuby and Bitsy uh, Chuby is the bigger one as you can imagine uh, and then I also have a picture of my wife and I uh, we are expecting a baby this year so we're both very excited all right so <clears throat> a few things about health so first of all there's my uh, email please feel free to email me anytime. This is a one semester elective course for ninth graders uh, and it's A to G eligible, which means that they get elective credit. And students who are enrolled in this course are also going to be enrolled in ethnic studies second semester. Now this course will be a required course for ninth graders next year. So this year we're piloting it. So gathering feedback from my students is incredibly helpful and important this year. So this year students, they have a voice in how the class is shaped in upcoming years, for next year specifically. And <clears throat> they're going to demonstrate that they're making health a priority by taking this elective course. So uh, your students this year, I hope that uh, you have opportunities to talk to them about what's going on in health and, and just kind of get a feel for yourself on what we're doing in the class. Now, as far as things that I'm focusing on this semester with our students, relationship skills, so how to support others, resolve conflict, communicate needs and boundaries. Uh, we are actually just starting to get into uh, boundaries, what they look like, um, how to create boundaries, healthy boundaries. Self-awareness, this is important in terms of managing stress and anxiety, coping with stress, developing strong self-care habits. And these fall into the different units that we're starting with. So for example, the first unit right now is personal and community wellness. At some point in the semester, we'll talk about alcohol, tobacco, and other substances. And I would love for our students to uh, gain a deeper awareness and a healthy attitude towards uh, alcohol, drugs, and other substances. Obviously, we're coming at it from a scientific perspective as well, so I want them to know all of that. Uh, we'll talk about nutrition and physical activity, and nutrition is one of my favorite things to talk about. So uh, our students are going to learn to think about nutrition, um, how to think about it, what's important in terms of putting healthy things in our bodies, uh, starting an exercise routine, and other physical wellness habits. And then finally, there's something called a wrap. It's a wellness reflection and assessment portfolio. So <clears throat> the goal of this class is for each student to learn how to like kind of how to assess where they're at and to also uh, dive into projects that are meaningful to them. So, for example, what do you want to improve in terms of your health? Uh, is it exercise, is it nutrition? And in each unit, we'll talk about specific things that they want to improve. Each time a student uh, has a big project, we call it a wrap. So again, a wellness reflection and assessment portfolio. Each student has their own folder that they put their wrap in, uh, and that's part of what gets graded. So I wanted to make this video because I unfortunately cannot be there uh, to meet you on Thursday night at Back to School Night. Uh, Monta Vista and Limbrook are running their Back to School Nights at almost exactly the same time. So I won't be able to uh, be there to meet you in person, but I wanted to send this out, introduce myself, 
please feel free to email me. I would love to hear from you. Uh, and please talk to your students about how things are going in health class. If you have family dinners, I'd love for that to be a conversation of what did you learn in health today? What's something you can teach us about things you're learning? Uh, and again, please feel free to contact me anytime with questions and concerns. All right. Great to meet you. And uh, take care.